and good afternoon, dear guests from Korea. Uh, today, we have a very honorable uh, lecturer, Professor Gilson Khan, uh, who is from Jambuk National University, and he works at the Department of Polymer, Nanoscience and Technology. Uh, we always admire his studies because he's a very good scientist, Professor Kang. And today he's going to talk about biocompatibility issues for regenerative medicinal products. Uh, we used to uh, listen to the lectures of Professor Khan in the past, and they were very inspiring. Uh, so it's a great honor uh, and pride for us, Professor Gilson, that you are with us. Uh, welcome, Professor Gilson. Okay. Uh, would you like to uh, begin your lecture? You can start uh, sharing your screen. Okay. okay. Uh, because now we are live and uh, your students from Korea can also join us. Okay. Yeah. Can, okay. Can you? Ah, yes. Okay. Now we can see. Thank you. O okay. Okay. Uh, I uh, always appreciate, uh, you know, my old friend, uh, Professor Feta Kokusut, and then uh, uh, to invite me and then also give uh, this kind of a great opportunity to share of my recent work. Um, I actually, that's uh, my 40, 40 years work. Yeah. And then also... Uh, today, I would like to, uh, you know, the, have a lecture. The title is Biocompatibility Issue for the Regenerative Medicinal Product. So, actually, uh, Turkey and Korea has a very important uh, relationship, uh, just like uh, broad, we call the broad, brothership chief, a uh, Korean peace. So, now we are, uh, you know, the enjoy the peace, yeah, under the supporting, uh, you know, the Turkish army, uh, 1950, uh, June 25. There are so many Turkish soldiers uh, in uh, that died in, you know, the strange land in Korea. So we, uh, you know, Korean people always, uh, you know, the acknowledge uh, thanks to the uh, this kind of, uh, you know, collaboration work. And also, as you can see here, we have, uh, uh, you know, the enjoy 2000 Korean Japan World Cup. We met the semi-final and then uh, finally, uh, you know, the Turkey won uh, against the Korea. But actually at that time, we, uh, you know, as you can see here, we also uh, also confirm, uh, you know, the bloody friendship. Uh, bro broadly, uh, uh, you know, the ship and uh, Korea and uh, Turkey. And then also I visited so many times uh, from the 2000, maybe three or two, the first time. And I visited over six or seven times. Uh, I enjoyed uh, uh, this kind of, you know, uh, the Turkish, uh, of, uh, you know, the food and culture. And there's so many, uh, uh, the, so, uh, so, so academic society and then Nesrin and Harshi, so also my uh, 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 long friend. Also, Murat Elchin is, uh, you know, the, my long friend uh, from the 2000, maybe uh, one or two. Uh, so uh, this is Jambu. Here is the Jambu National University. Uh, very, uh, Jeonju is here, here, Korea and the Turkey here, and the Korea here, yeah, as you can see here. And then uh, this is Jeonju, uh, Jeonju, and the, uh, this is Seoul, around 255 kilometers uh, to south direction. And then uh, Jeonju is uh, one of the most treasured, traditional city in Korea. Uh, there are uh, you know, as you can see, a uh, Korean uh, uh, village and then also Korean traditional uh, traditional food. Yeah, so also uh, almost young students uh, really, really like uh, BTS. Uh, 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 
also he they have a you know the lot of tour in Jeonju area and then almost of a young uh, you know the foreign people uh, really really wanted to visit the Jeonju area uh, because uh, you know that they chased or traced uh, the BTS so uh, our university uh, Jeonbuk National University is very uh, you know the uh, exotic uh, scenery uh, with uh, different four kind of uh, you know the uh, season is uh, our library and then also this is Korean uh, traditional uh, you know the house and then also uh, I have uh, some uh, you know the European horizon uh, you know uh, 2020 20, 20 24 yeah it's like uh, my uh, you know uh, a project name is shift uh, pi is the antenna la Mota, the university of trento and uh, her phd student uh, you know seconded uh, stayed in our lab yeah three months uh, 2000 maybe 19 or something like that and then also i'm very proud uh, you know the work uh, collaborate work with the uh, University of Minio and the University of Trento, uh, University of Birmingham, and uh, uh, University of Kebangsan, Malaysia, and the Chulaning Khan University in uh, you know the uh, Thailand, and the finally uh, University Mongolian University of Science and Technology uh, in Mongolia. So I will uh, you know uh, introduce later. So. Our university established in 1946, so we have a 70th anniversary in the 2018, and then approximately 30,000 uh, students and the 250 uh, faculty and yeah, staff member, and then also there are so many international students over maybe over maybe 4,000 yeah, from the India, Bangladesh. Uh, Egypt, yeah, something like that, and then also uh, our university ranked in 102, uh, you know, uh, and the university in Asia 2022, and then also our university towards the world class uh, research grant or uh, research paper, yeah, something like that, and then also this is my uh, Facebook, uh, you know, the page and then join uh, me and uh, the ID is uh, Jason Kang. Actually, as you know, the number, limiting number of the friends might be the 5,000 uh, right now, maybe uh, 40 or 50, you know, the uh, vacant seat may be left. So yeah, please join me. And then today I would like to, uh, you know, the introduce the, this content. Yeah, first the uh, classification of research organ regeneration, example biomaterial, what is the tissue engineering, and then uh, what is the recent trend of commercialization for term products, and the new definition of biocompatibility for the term products, and then very recently Korea uh, launched a new act on the advanced regenerative medicine in Korea. So uh, this is a uh, 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 you know, the some cartoon uh, the draw uh, myself. So sometimes something is right, but something is wrong. Yeah, and then, but uh, actually in 1950, there are, you know, the research work uh, for the biomaterial has been, had been started, but at that time, any you no know, any concept uh, any you know the meaning of biomaterial bio compatibility something like that and then near the 1970 uh, some just like uh, you know the pioneer professor like uh, someone Kim Alan Hoffman and Joe Robinson Bob Langer yeah, started you know the biomaterial application of the biomaterial for the artificial organ or DDS drug delivery system. And then at the time, around the, after the 20 years, there are, you know, uh, many uh, research, uh, research, uh, researcher suffering, the, you know, the lack of the biocompatibility, and more, you know, the precisely uh, vitality, no vitality, only biometria. 
that means you know only that is the no vital you know material yeah so dead material so they tried to you know the combine uh, with the you know the living cell just the primary cell or stem cell or something like that and then uh, they you know the name the tissue engineering yeah at that time so right now around 30 years ago 1992 1995 and then this concept you know tissue engineering concept has this Start and then you know the increased uh, you know uh, sprout uh, very steeply just like uh, a concept of adult adult stem cell and then also embryonic stem cell. Uh, finally, uh, Professor Shina Yamanaka in the Kyoto University got a Nobel Prize award uh, in the invention of the iPS cell and then direct deprogramming. Now, you know, the more evolved, you know, uh, organoid, organo chip, you know, something like uh, regenerative engineering and something like that. So right now here, so uh, uh, first I briefly introduced what is the biomaterial. Biomaterial, you know, the uh, classified largely, they classified that kind of four polymerase, bioceramic and biometal and biocomposite. So this we also you know the found some the application of the my material to biomaterial around the 300 BC or 1000 BC yeah something like that and then also very recently you know the bio artificial organ you know the made it by biomaterial had uh, you know the applied so many uh, you know uh, in our body and saved uh, you know so many persons lives. So right now also, you know, the industrial area is also very important uh, in the area, area of the, you know, biomaterial and, uh, you know, the bio-artificial organ, you know, something like that. So uh, I uh, introduced, you know, the uh, biomaterial, application of the biomaterial. Uh, first, contact lens. Hard lens made by polymethacrate silicone. Also soft contact lens, so cross-linked pihima and the cross link the PHEMA and the n vinyl pyridine, silicon fluor, you know, the uh, hydro gel has, uh, you know, the uh, discovered two, uh, you know, the increased oxygen permeable, high water content, uh, water content, so resulting in the extended wearable. Also, uh, uh, very recently, you know, the young people like the disposable the TPX. Uh, high, you know, the uh, uh, oxygen permeable, uh, you know, the, the polyolefin material. Also, dental implant also, you know, the very popular. Uh, this is an external fixation device ma made by stainless steel or uh, uh, titanium biomaterial. Also, artificial lung uh, made by polysulfone and cupro. Uh, you know, the uh, 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 since the, you know, the, the uh, corona pandemic, there are so many ECMO, uh, you know, the uh, device, uh, you know, uh, uh, sold it in the world. Uh, so artificial heart made by polymethyl metacrylate and stainless steel. Also, this uh, artificial heart uh, named the Javik 7, yeah, you know, made by polyurethane, polyester, titanium, pyrolytic carbon, yeah, something like that. Also, uh, uh, this uh, artificial leg made by carbon composites, also nail made, made by you know the titanium uh, to uh, fix the you know the spine. Also uh, titanium hip knee asplasty uh, made the cochromo alloy, titanium and ultramolecular with polyethylene, the this acetylene cup and the oxidized alumina also has been uh, applied. So. This is a uh, one, you know, the of the most successful uh, biomaterial in our area. Uh, actually, uh, Professor Chun Park, right now retired, already retired. Uh, he is my uh, supervisor, uh, the University of Iowa, the Department of Biomedical Engineering, uh, and then he, uh, you know, the always uh, teach me uh, engineering. Most the simpler, the better, uh, the, the complex and the, the worst, yeah, he said, uh, he teach me, 
uh, taught me. And then artificial vascular graft made by uh, polyester with uh, just like crimping. Uh, actually, this polyester has a uh, you know the very bad biocompatibility. Uh, you know the as soon as contact the blood here and the blood you know the clot and coagulate. But actually, but uh, almost double you know artificial vascular graft. Uh, you know, made by polyester or 20% of the Teflon. But actually, we don't have any choice. If we have, uh, you know, the lot of more biocompatible material uh, compared to polyester, but uh, we right now only uh, use the artificial vascular graft despite of the very bad, uh, you know, the uh, biocompatibility. I will, uh, you know, the, uh, explain later. Uh, artificial kidney also made by polysulfan cupro, PVC, and epoxy resin. And then also uh, catheter, uh, you know, the compost of the retinol assembled uh, uh, assembled with the retinol polypropylene polyethylene, uh, polyethylene and the guide wire they are put, uh, you know, uh, here, uh, side and here all uh, you know the through uh, uh, put here and the through the you know the uh, you know the brain and here uh, you know the right now broad protein and yeah uh, you know that this is the the uh, tent yeah with the you know, blood flow again and then also uh, this uh, you know the apply the same uh, in the infection in the uh, you know the heart and actually as you can see here. Is almost of you know uh, uh, plugged, and then after the you know the stent uh, you know the operation, uh, this uh, you know the uh, ischemia uh, you know the cure, and then yeah, as you can see here, you see the but very recently you know the stenosis is another you know the problem. So we uh, uh, you know the develop the drug eluted stent. And the biodegradable stent. So also dental implant might apply the uh, you know PMMA bone cement epoxy resin titanium alginate and the uh, artificial also retina uh, right now developed artificial hearing uh, you know the developed by uh, bioinformatics nano you know, fusion convergence technology also computerized the artificial hand. Also uh, using uh, this kind of fusion technology. Pets for the Parkinson also, you know, the right now uh, used the pop, very popular uh, here. And then also artificial, uh, you know, the breast. Uh, also, I, uh, you know, explain more, you know, the press uh, more in detail the later. And then uh, right now, I, uh, you know, the introduced the only. Uh, you know, the artificial organ made by, you know, the biomaterial, uh, only biomaterial. But as you already knew, this biomaterial have the, you know, lifespan. So we can only use the within 10 years. After 10 years, uh, this biomaterial have some, you know, the break, break or some, make some reachable or, you know, the very bad yeah, situation. So, uh, you know, the, around the 1980 to 1990, almost of the you know, biomaterial researcher, uh, you know, the thought to the, uh, we need some hybridized, you know, make some hybrid, hybridization, uh, you know, the uh, structure uh, using biomaterial and, uh, you know, the li live uh, the, uh, cell. And then so, the tissue engineering concept, you know, the uh, suggest around the 1990 is an interdisciplinary field apply the principles of engineering and life science toward the development of the biological substitute that restore, maintain, or improve the tissue function. So right now, uh, uh, as you can see here, scaffold, cell, and time uh, with the appropriate, appropriate uh, the, the signaling molecule with the operator environment, uh, and then you can see here uh, some we you know the uh, try to regeneration of the tissue and organ. So 
uh, as you can uh, you see uh, you know the father of the you know uh jenning joe Bekenti, and bob langer uh, actually this he has a four brother and then three brother and the joe chuck and michael Bekenti, uh you know the uh make a, made a very big role around the 19 93 or 1999, yeah, something like that. Uh, these three brothers established the you know, Tissue Engineering Society International, and then also they tried to, to you know, the make some uh, you know, the artificial uh, tissue engine the product and something like that. And then around the 1980, uh, late of the 1980, uh, the uh, Lango and Beckent is uh, you know, the very good friend, and then they work a sea shore of the Boston. And then he said, uh, you know, this kind of the sea weed. And then uh, he asked to Lang, Lang Bob, Bob Langer, Bob, can you make, uh, you know, the, some biodegradable polymer, the, uh, just this kind of, you know, porous structure, just like, uh, you know, this kind of material. And then he said, oh, that's very uh, easy. And then finally he made, uh, you know, the porous structure, this, uh, you know, the biomet biodegradable polymer. And then, as you know, uh, Bob Langer, uh, you know, the, made the big money in the corona pandemic. And, uh, you know, the founder of the Moderna, he, you know, the discovered the, the LNP, uh, drug delivery system for the miRNA. Yeah, as you al already know. And then this slide shows the, you know, the kind of the, Biodegradable polymer for the tissue engineering, and they almost uh, of uh, tissue engineering used you know P PLGA, yeah, and then eta carboxylation, and then only two uh, you know biodegradable you know approved by FDA. Uh, another one has some you know the, some limitation of the uh, usage, as you can see here the uh, chemical structure, yeah. So and then finally. Bob Langer and Joe Bekenti, you know, the published the tissue engineering in science 1993. So uh, this, uh, you know, the paper, just like a Bible of the, our work, and then my, made the, you know, the uh, human ear under the little mouse back. And then I copied 1996 at the time, just came back to, from uh, America. I was studying in America, 1991 to 1905. And then I, you know, the copied, uh, you know, the this, uh, you know, the uh, you know, uh, just the same, uh, you know, this kind of uh, tissue engineer ear and nose, uh, 1996, and then also some avant-garde artist, you know, the made the uh, implant just like a ear on uh, his arm, yeah, something like that, and then and actually I am engineer. Uh, you know, the professor of the engineering uh, school, engineering, college of engineering. So uh, final aim of the engineering is commercialization to, and then to, you know, the saving uh, life, uh, you know, the disease, uh, uh, human, yeah, something like that. So, and then as you, you uh, right now introduce you, we, uh, you know, the use the, you know, the tax money, uh, research money, yeah, from government to another private sector uh, during the last 30 years. So what is the, you know, the result for the commercial engineering? And then, so uh, this uh, slide shows global sale-based product 2011 to 2015. Is, uh, below one is the Korean and the upper one is, uh, you know, the world. Actually, 2002, uh, two, 2002, uh, we launched the you know, only chondrocyte in Korea, uh, uh, cell therapy, uh, chondrocyte, and uh, keratinocyte, and uh, something like that uh, from the 2002. And then, uh, you know, the first stem cell therapy in Korea and world, you know, the launching in market, uh, Cellgram AMI, also CAT stem, QP stem, Euronatal, yeah, Kerail Allo, yeah, something like that. And then also 2000, uh, you know, the 16, in worldwide, there are some, uh, you know, the many hurdles to commercialize the, you know, the stem cell. And then they, you know, the some, uh, you know, uh, 
turned to I, there's I some little bit of the angle, just then, then they, you know, uh, you know, the uh, discovered, invented the first CAR T-cell therapy by, uh, you know, the Novartis. Yeah, there are, you know, the, this is a miracle, you know, the anti-tumor, uh, you know, the cell therapy product, and also Kaitupama Yescarta, and then there are so many, you know, adipose MSC, bone marrow MSC, yeah, something like that. So if you uh, need this slide, please let me know. Also, please ask the Dr. Feta. I will, uh, you know, the distribute this, this uh, PPT material, all material. And then, uh, as you, you can see here, this is, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the CAR T cell. Yeah. As you can see here, uh, in our body, uh, you know, the cancer cell has produced 1,000 per day. And then, uh, you know, the, our T cell, you know, the petrol, and the, they, you, you know, the discovered, the, you know, the uh, cancer cell, and then they, uh, you know, the kill the, you know, the uh, uh, cancer cell. And then uh, using the, this kind of, uh, you know, the concept, they, uh, you know, the ampl amplified this kind of, you know, uh, ability. And the, finally, they, uh, uh, you know, the invented the CAR T cell. Uh, this is, uh, you know, the Novartis CAR T cell pipeline. Yeah, there are so many, uh, you know, the uh, so much work, uh, research work has, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, carried out by the, you know, the multinational uh, drug, big pharma, yeah, just like that. Yeah, there are so many, and the list of gene therapy, list of gene therapy, there are so many, uh, you know, the modified cell, uh, this is a gene, modified cell, uh, ADA, yeah, skid, yeah, something like that. So, and then you can see here, uh, there are only cell product, not tissue engineered product. It's only stem cell product. Why not? Why, uh, you know, uh, actually, uh, so that I, you know, the um, conclude that is, uh, you know, uh, that there are big problem for the bi biocompatibility issue of the, you know, uh, scaffold in the tissue engineering area. First, autologous chondrocyte. Actually, this one is also FDA approved. Yeah, this is also FDA already approved. Also, PGA non urban also, you know, they already FDA approved. And then, uh, this construct, you know, hybrid construct had been submitted to the approval to USA 1992 advanced tissue science at the time. No one doubt approved these terms, but of approval of this tissue engineering product has been retired up to right now. There, that means, you know, no US FDA approval tissue engineering product in the world. Yeah, so we, you know, the back, we must back, uh, you know, the, this problem, uh, you know, the, in terms of safety and uh, efficacy, uh, you know, that is, you know, the back to the base. We need a basic. What is the problem of the, uh, you know, the uh, biocompatibility uh, for the, you know, the scaffold material? Actually, uh, she is the uh, Gail, Dr. Gail, a very famous, uh, uh, you know, uh, woman, yeah, scientist and CEO and yeah, something like that. She has spent more 30 years extensively researching in tissue engineering processes and then also has a 140 patent, and then also co-founder of Advanced Tissue Science. Advanced 19, maybe he made, she made, you know, Advanced Tissue Science maybe around, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, this year, 1989. And then at the time, you know, the, yeah, she designed, developed the world first upscale manufacturing test tissue engineering product. So, uh, I saw the her video around the 1995, and then very big, you know, the uh, uh, GMP product, GMP facility, and then there are over 5,000 or 10,000 roller bottles yeah, for the culturing of the human control site, and then you know the all robots, you know, uh, the the feed and uh, you know the waste and uh, also, you know, the recover the, you know, the all, you know, uh, 
uh, chondrocyte cell. And then at that time, she said, uh, you can buy, yeah, you could buy the, you know, the one kilogram of a chondrocyte human cell, maybe 35,000 US dollar. Yeah, 35,000 US dollar at the time. And then, uh, you know, the, she, uh, you know, uh, huddled, she met the huddle of the, you know, FDA. So uh, finally, you know, the, she's, her company, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, go to the Smith nephew, Medistronic, and, uh, you know, at the time she was, she used the, uh, you know, the 3. Point, uh, yeah, uh, 3.5 billion, uh, 3.5 billion US dollar, a lot of big money. Yeah, she used the, you know, uh, yeah, she used a lot of big money. And then you, the old money. And right now, uh, her, you know, the, Chondrocyte cell right now in the air, in the air. In Korea, we right now, you know, the some, you know, the make some yeah, profit right now. But in, you know, the uh, USA, no, you know, uh, yeah, no profit. Uh, she also uh, served the dean of the San Diego University, yeah, as you can see here, yeah, San Diego yeah, State University, and then also. Uh, she was the CEO of the histogen in America. Actually, the, right now here, you see the uh, PLGA, uh, you know, uh, PLGA, uh, the chemical structure of the yeah, PLGA. And then the problem of the, uh, this PLGA is, uh, you know, the evokes the acute inflammation. And finally, the accumulation of a dense fibrotic uh, tissue encapsulates in the implant, as you can see here, PGA. The, the zero day and say after the seven day you can see so many foreign body giant cells and so many uh, you know the another you know foreign uh, body cell and then you can see here uh, this is a, a crystal part uh, this is a crystal part of a PLJ uh, just like a needle yeah uh, yeah just this this kind of needle you know the uh, you know revokes you know the uh, host tissue. And then there are so many macrophages and multi-nucleated giant cells. And then also this one, you know, the seven day, 21 day, 35, 35 day, and then also six day uh, remain, as you can see here, uh, until two, uh, you know, the totally degraded. And the Bob Langer uh, reported in 2003. Yeah, as you can see here, fibrotic wall sickness, formation of the fibrotic wall sickness how thick? 500 micrometer. Actually, uh, we think, you know, this one, uh, uh, you know, the no problem for the, you know, our, uh, you know, the uh, host body, but we don't have uh, any evidence, uh, you know, the no problem. We make, uh, you know, the evidence, uh, no problem, must make. So actually, so, uh, that is the main problem for the no, you know, the approval of the FDA. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the approval. So, uh, this is only my. So, actually, I, you know, the some showed the, some, uh, you know, the example of the biocompatibility, uh, you know, the some biomaterial. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, Jun, Professor Jun Park is a. Uh, First uh, author of the you know textbook biomedical science engineering in 1984. At the time, uh, you know the, there are only you know definition definition of the biomaterial. At the time, no, uh, you know the definition of the biocompatibility. Yeah. So 2004, Latina and his co-worker, uh, you know the uh, edited some this book, and then they said. Uh, for the biocompatibility, you know, definition, yeah, as you can see here, unfortunately, we do not have a precise definition or accurate measurement of biocompatibility. So, biocompatibility may have to be uniquely defined for each application. I show you. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, the PVC blood bag, uh, made blood bag made by yeah, PVC. Uh, around the, before the 1945, uh, they uh, used the you know glass Pyrex glass bottle yeah, for the you know the restore of the you know fresh uh, blood and then uh, you know the uh, contact air 
and the this blood, the coagulate, and then uh, you know the Carl Walter, uh, the professor of the Harvard Medical School, he invented the plasticized PVC blood bag. As you know, this PVC must use the plus plasticizer. This DOP plasticizer is a endocrine disruptor. Yeah, this is very bad for our body. And then this is a you know as you can see here. Yeah, this is a you know as you can see here. Uh, low molecular weight, uh, you know, the chemical structure, and then migrate the, into the blood. But problem is the plasticized, plasticized PVC bag can lead to a store in the blood, blood in fresh blood in one week. But we change the, you know, the no uh, uh, the endocrine disruptor, plasticizer, polyolympic bag. Yeah, this one is only leads to a four days. This is one week. Actually, plasticizer uh, is a very hard, harmful. But actually, this uh, you know the no plasticizer only for this, because in terms of preservation, DOHP plasticizer PVC might be more compatible with the you know compared with the yeah polyolipin bag. So actually, you know the DHP is very bad. Yeah, you know the chemical compound. But in terms of the uh, blood preservation. This one is more biocompatible, as you can see. So many, uh, you know. Also, in terms of the cost, actually, uh, you know, labor cost salary. And right now, Korea, China is uh, almost two thousand US dollar per month. Vietnam four hundred, Philippines two hundred or three hundred US dollar per month. And then almost of this disposable factory, you know, the move to Philippines or Vietnam or Indonesia, something like that. As you can see here, yeah, sometimes we, you know, the discovered, uh, you know, the some kind of very bad material, you know, dropped, uh, you know, the uh, uh, biocompatibility in the foreign, uh, the low salary, you know, the country, the cheap labor, sanitation problem, and the more labor cost. So high cost is more biocompatible. Yeah, this is also I, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, through the, this problem. And then also this is a uh, you know artificial breast, yeah. You saw the 19 uh, already in America, uh, 1960. Uh, you know the there are you know the silicone you know implant has a start, but problem you know appeared had appeared 1985 1990. The droplet oligomer oligomer silicone were found in knee cartilage in some women, and then you know the very yeah you know the pain. And then, uh, you know, some, uh, uh, you know, the medical doctor uh, discovered, the, you know, the oligoma leak silicone, yeah, from the all body and accumulated, the, you know, the knee cartilage, yeah. And then all implants, you know, were retrieved with the 200,000, 700 US of the compensation. And finally, Dow Corning company, uh, you know, the bankrupt. And then they, you know, to change it to all, you know, uh, oligoma eliminate, and then also silicone, you know, the cross link the silicone gel, then the question again, and the problem. Yeah, and then problem, yeah, you know, this, uh, you know, rupture. Some mother, you know, the try to eat the, her milk and her baby, and then, you know, the, this ruptured silicone, uh, you know, the throughout, and finally, you know, the baby, her baby, you know, the ate some silicone, yeah, something like that. And then, as you can see here, yeah, this big problem. And then also, this is a really big problem. Retrieval the implanted silicone artificial breast after 17 years. You can see the five dense, uh, find the dense and thick fibrous wall thickness, as you can see here. Plus with the classification, classif classified you know, encapsulation. So this one has the possibility to develop the tumor of the malignant tissue here. Must need a second surgery to get rid of the non degraded implant or use of a biodegradable material, as you can see here. Actually, finally, uh, I conclude you know, that this silicon material is a really, really bad biocompatibility. But we have no another choice. Actually, you know, for the artificial breast, this one is 
you know, the best one in the world right now. So, so, and then, uh, you know, the, uh, this one is very smooth, you know, uh, uh, artificial breast. Uh, in order to fix the, you know, the patient's body, uh, we made some textured surface just like uh, this one. Yeah, just like, actually, this is uh, very smooth. And then this is, uh, uh, you know, the, some uh, rough surface. And then in order to improve the audio, the, the, uh, you know, the host tissue. So, uh, you know, the problem is, you know, this uh, surface evokes the BRACLCL, you know, the anaplastic large cell lymphoma, a kind of the, you know, the tumor has, you know, the evoked yeah, this one. So, yeah, big problem. So, uh, right now, uh, time is uh, almost up. Uh, actually, this is, uh, uh, you know, the problem, the soft contact lens in some, you know, the England, some, you know, the grandma, uh, you know, the wear of the 27, you know, the contact lens, something like this one. And then, and after that, uh, you know, the, she can, could not, you know, the, see the, you know, anything. And then finally, you know, the meet some doctor. Yeah, doctor, you know, to get rid of the 28, you know, uh, this kind of. So this is a biocompatible or no biocompatible. Also filler, there are so many yeah, problems, you know, uh, side effect of the filler. Yeah, and then, yeah, you know, the, this uh, young man, yeah, put some oil, uh, you know, the, in order to see the, you know, uh, the her muscle, uh, his muscle in the, just like that. Finally, you know, the, he is almost died. Yeah, just like that. And uh, also, you know, the uh, artificial, uh, you know, uh, total hip, uh, uh, the uh, total hip asphrasty is also one of the successful, uh, you know, the biomaterial. But actually, there are so many pr problems in terms of the, you know, the biocompatibility. Physical properties for PMA bone cement is not good. Poor formation in PMA bone cement, shrinkage the PMA during the polymerization. Lack of the good cement distribution around the implant, interface between PMA and metal surface. And, and then, uh, you know, uh, these problems still exist. Yeah. And then also, I uh, mentioned earlier, artificial kidney vascular graft, uh, you know, they invented by William Colfe and uh, William Devery and then uh, Michael, Michael Devery or something like that. And then this kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, polyester uh, bus graft and vortex bus graft is not good for the, you know, the biocompatibility. So actually uh, in order to accelerate, the, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, research uh, in the area of the, you know, the uh, regional medicine to accelerate in Korea, we uh, launched a new law, new act, on the from the uh, last year, so to accelerate relevant uh, tissue engineering and medicine and R and D to promote the commercialization and industry, and then also concept act of safety and support of advanced regenerative medicine, advanced biopharmaceuticals, and then also we you know made some new regulatory process, uh, you know beside of the uh, no new drug. Yeah, no new drug. Another, you know, the totally different site. And the, right now, EU and American, yeah, uh, you know, uh, almost, almost of the stem cell therapy or something like that, uh, you know, the uh, regulate and they reviewed the, in the level of the new drug. And then, uh, you know, that there are uh, so many problems. So we, in Korea and Japan, yeah, made some new regulated yeah, yeah, projects, AR and chapter. Yeah, so uh, this, uh, you know, the table shows the America NIH R&D in this investment field of regional medicine from 2006 to 2020 to here. And then also this is Japan and the outlook of cell-based gen therapy market, as you can see here, yeah, they are very, you know, steeply increased. So I conclude it must solve the exact definition of biocompatibility of the scaffold material for the tissue engineering products. And then also we must need massive and systemic human clinical study.
tissue engineering products must be carried out using you know, the public money, not private sector money, because uh, we need a lot of money uh, for the human clinical study. So 1990s, there are, you know, the, uh, at the time only, you know, the tissue engineering, but, uh, you know, uh, we needed some new hurdle, uh, you know, FDA approval. And then uh, 2000, uh, you know, uh, uh, right now, this tissue engineering, uh, you know, changed to be general medicine uh, uh, with the cell therapy. And the future uh, tissue engineering, the general medicine, you know, must be, uh, tissue engineering must be returned because, you know, cell therapy have some limitation for the, you know, the cargo and deliver the, in our body. So we must need, you know, the biomaterial, you know, the uh, delivered, you know, the, in our body, uh, so-called the tissue engineering. So this is our work. And then we, uh, I said, uh, you know, the before, I have some, you know, the shift and the mix horizon, you know, the 2020, you know, the uh, big, uh, you know, the grant. And then there are so many grants and uh, international collaborator uh, here. And then also we have a World Biomedical Congress 2024 in Korea. Uh, this is uh, my lab member. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Gilson, thank you so much. An excellent, excellent, excellent lecture. Uh, very informative. You took us from the past and uh, took us to the future. Uh, so I think the most important take home message is that simple is better. Yeah, um, right. I totally agree with uh, you. Uh, Nisrin Hasuju Hoja has a comment in the chat. And she's saying that uh, she thinks that carbon and silicon chemistries will combine in future to create semi-artificial humans. What do you think about carbon and silicon chemistries? Uh, say again. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Uh, can follow you. Yeah. Say again. Uh, so do you agree that carbon and silicon chemistries will combine in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Semi-artificial human, is that possible? Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, I also think, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the one of the, you know, the uh, solution method yeah, for the making, you know, the more biocompatible yeah, uh, you know, biomaterial. And then we, you know, for example, you know, the graphene and graphene oxide. Uh, right now, some, yeah, so many scientists apply the two, you know, the graphene or graphene oxide to the control of the you know, differentiation of the mesenchymal stem cell, yeah, something like that. And then also we must, uh, you know, expand, uh, yeah, 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 the, that kind of chemistry. Yeah, yeah. that's very good. Uh, so mm. An Antonella Motta and Murat Elchin say thank you to you. Uh, okay. In medicine, I have a comment that we always say that first thing first, we should do no harm to the people. So we should uh, protect the person as much as possible. Yeah. So, so the example with silicone uh, was a very good example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because yeah. Some, some biomaterials can still do some harm. And yeah. this, this is uh, not so good for tissue engineering. Uh, in our clinical practice, we have also come to the solution that uh, regeneration is important, right? Right. And, uh, cells have important roles in regeneration. So we use uh, a lot of cells uh, to modify the disease. Uh, in let's say musculoskeletal conditions, yeah. Uh, but recently, there's some research going on exosomes, extracellular vesicles. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. That's what do, what right. do you think about the extracellular vesicles of some, let's say, stem cells or other cells? Are they effective? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. That's very good. Uh, you know the question. Uh, right now, America and Korea. Uh, right now, it's very popular 
uh, right now in the research of the exosome and the mitochondria engineering. Yeah, we call the exosome engineering and the mitochondria engineering. And then also, I think uh, uh, also they, you know, the uh, made a lot of the venture capital uh, uh, in uh, you know America over hundred million US dollar. And then also Korea, uh, we have some lot of you know the venture company. Uh, put the money, invest the money, you know, the uh, maybe what, 10 or 12, uh, you know, the exosome yeah, company in Korea. But actually, the main problem is, you know, the human clinical trial. And yeah. then uh, right now, Korea, uh, we can not, you know, the apply the human, you know, the clinical trial to exosome and mitochondria, you know, the uh, engineering. So uh, in Korea, uh, right now, in order to you know to have some human human clinical trial, uh, you know the uh, some company uh, must go to the Australia. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I think you know the someone said you know Australia is more easier yeah, than Korea. Mm -hmm. Actually, Korea is never uh, right now because uh, yeah because of law and then also. Uh, uh, that is the some you know the some uh very similar uh phenomena in the initial stage of the you know the mesenchymal stem cell. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, in the in the mesenchymal stem cell around the two thousand you know twenty uh, two thousand or two thousand two is uh, you know at the time. Or you know the tissue engineer or regenerative medicine engineer says the mesenchymal cell, you know, large <laughs> culture, <laughs> massive culture, and then after that, you know, the qualification, yeah, there are so many, uh, you know, variation of the qualified, yeah, something like that. And very recently, you know, the same word, you know, the yeah, yeah, recover, recover, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I think, uh, uh I guess. Uh, you know, uh, exosome and uh, uh, mitochondria engineering is yeah, one of the very strong, you know, tool uh, to, you know, to cure the, you know, uh, the human disease with the mesenchymal you know, cell therapy. But uh, I think, you know, there's some long way to go yeah, for the commercialization. But Research is very good. The research and make some, you know, very good paper is really good. But uh, human clinical trial and some, you know, make a medicine is uh, we need some, some is more. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, 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 yeah more time. Uh, yes, so I totally agree with you. Now uh, yeah. in the European Union, there's a. Yeah. Requirement. It's called the MDR requirement, ah. uh, and you need to do clinical study for uh, each product which is new. Okay. Mm. And as you mentioned, it's very expensive and difficult ah. to do human trial. Right, right. right. Uh, and for us, as the medical doctors, establishing a control group is also difficult. Ah. Like, you, you have the experimental group. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you use, yeah. for example, new cells, but on yeah, the other I side, know. you need to have a control group, uh, mm. which is difficult to uh, establish. So we are still challenging problems. Right, right, right. right, so, right. Gilson, thank you. Thank you again so much. Uh, Murat yeah, yeah. Elchin, Murat Elchin sends his greetings. He yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. microphone on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We actually prepared a certificate for you. Okay, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Furkan, Furkan, uh, ekrana yansıtabilir misin? Can you can you show the certificate, Furkan? Uh, maybe yes. Uh, so. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. We we now have. Uh, uh, funded uh, or provided a, a tree uh, implanted somewhere in Istanbul. In Istanbul, now you have a planted tree 
because of your uh, excellent contribution to our okay. university and to this uh, yes to this seminar series okay uh, okay thank you and so I will, much and i'll send this certificate to you uh, okay <laughs> okay okay and thank, thank you so much for making time for us uh, okay thank you so much thank you so much cordial yeah. greetings to all your members and look forward to seeing you in person soon again <laughs> okay okay yeah see you soon see you soon yeah. and now the yeah. yeah, pandemic is uh, you know better and better yeah, yes. we can be soon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, thank, thank you. you, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you uh, again. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.